Are you ready for it? Are you ready for this? To find out how to be able to make money from simply telling a story by answering a question, make more money than you've ever made before. Because if you're ready to do that, if you're ready to make that kind of money, money from doing those kind of activities, then this video is for you, baby. So that's what I'm going to be going over on this. This is a replay from one of the trainings I did within our community, and it is going to change your life and your financial future. Let me know in the, in the comments if you have any questions at all. But I look forward to seeing you at the end because there will be a special surprise. Hey, I'm the Viking Marketer, and this is my business partner and fellow founder of Digital Freedom Movement, Kellen Cheevy. Since 2017, we went from mechanics busting our knuckles every single day, never getting days off, to unlocking freedom for ourselves and helping thousands of other people just like yourself do the exact same thing. Subscribe and tune in and see how we're creating freedom for thousands of people. You heard every time I explained to every one of those, like how much you're spending on ads. Um, and when you're spending that money on ads, you're trading that money for more money. And this is how it works. And this is the next step and the next step and the next step. And you're going to trade $100 for 150 And then you're going to trade that 150 for 225 Then you're going to trade that 225 for 700 Then you're going to trade that 700 and you're going to make uh, 1500 And that's the pathway. So not only am I answering their question, I'm showing them the progression of how they're going to go down the road and like what their future holds. And they're like, holy crap, I get that's what I have to do is I just, I'll be able to spend more money and I'll just be able to make more money. And the answer is yes. And that's how advertisement works. And that's the reason why you would advertise it. So you can make more money. You're trading your advertising dollars uh, out so you can get new revenue in. Um, so explaining the process, not that like, yeah, you have to spend $300 in ads. If you spent $300 in ads and that's what you just told them, all they're thinking about is loss, right? Because you didn't paint them a picture, because you didn't go into detail on the answer, all you're talking about is the loss. And all they're thinking about is the loss of $300. Oh, I have to spend $300 on, on ads? Because they don't understand the process, right? Like they're not in the business. They're not doing that. So if you're telling your, your client that they you have to pay, spend $500 on mentorship, and then on top of that $500 on mentorship, they're also going to have to spend $300 a month uh, on advertisement. How appealing does that sound to anybody, right? Like anybody ever. That sounds like that's going to be a whole bunch of money because all you've talked to them about is the loss. Oh, by the way, you're also going to have to work hard for that. Sounds fun. Like sign me up. Like I give you money and then I have to continue to give you money and then I have to work really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. But that's how often I hear people explain things instead of like telling the people a story about what their life's going to turn into, which is exactly what's going to happen. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to spend 500 bucks on mentorship. What you're going to get with that mentorship is amazing. Like not only are you going to be able to learn uh, how to start a business, how to get that business from A to Z, but you're also going to get mentorship and be able to get all the questions that you have answered. So you'll be able to get to that five figure mark that, that you want in a short amount of time, way quicker than being able to watch YouTube videos and trying to piece those things together. So a lot less pain, painful than that, a lot more pain, painless of a situation. So we're going to do that with you. And then, yeah, you're going to have to spend some money on ads, which is, which is cool because the, the best beauty part about that is not only are you going to spend money on ads, you're going to grow this audience and this audience is going to pay you today. And it's also going to pay you later because you're growing this audience all the time. So you're going to spend 300 bucks, you're going to get $150 back. And then you can spend that $450 and then you're going to get $700 back. And maybe you keep 200 for yourself at that point in time, take yourself up for a night steak dinner. Uh, you spend 500 bucks on ads and then you make more and then boom, 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 boom. And like, these are the things that happen and you continue to progress them down the road. And then you dribble in that uh, maybe you take some stuff out so you can go uh, take yourself out for a steak dinner and, and that kind of stuff. And the more type of paint, uh, painting that you do for people and the less painful the situation is, um, then that happens. And exactly what Renee said, it's just like, this is the negatives that you have to do. Yeah, you have to spend a bunch of money, but you get all this, like all this cool stuff. Right. And it's just like, if you went to a theme park, yeah, it's going to cost you $50 to get in a theme park. Oh, that's lame. It's expensive to get in a theme park, 50 bucks. Or so you're going to Disneyland. I think it's like 120 bucks a day. Oh, that's, 
it's a lot of money, 120 bucks uh, uh, to and times four people. That's $500 I have to spend. It's a lot of money, but it's not like, hey, like you're going to go spend this 500 bucks. By the way, with the $500 that you're going to like, you're going to spend, you're going to get like the best day ever. And you have unlimited access to all these rides that you, you can't see anywhere else. And you can only get this experience here. And by the way, there's going to be cool people walking around that you can take pictures with, that you can make memories forever and then hold them and interact with people that you've always dreamed that could be real. And guess what? They're actually real in this theme park. Well, well, that sounds like it's worth spending that $120 per person to get in. Like, that's that's awesome. That's amazing. I'm going to go do that. And that's why people go to Disneyland. <laughs> it's it's like the most expensive theme park, but you get all this stuff and that's how they've curated it. So you'll spend that money. And it's they don't just say that you that the advertisement isn't Disneyland, $120. Would anyone go? No, they wouldn't go. Right, like you have to paint the picture. You have to go the story. You've got to not stay on the surface. You've got to go into an emotional place where people can start visualizing where their lives go. Right. So if John was like in, in that post that we just reviewed for John, like if he said he's just like, yeah, like I was shitting my pants when I first uh, started online business. If this sounds like the type of person that you want to be, like, and you you want to do online business, just DM me 10k. You think anybody would ever DM him 10K? No. What you do is you like, hey, I was shooting my pants when this happens. I'm sure anytime that you've jumped on a new adventure, you shot your pants too. Like it's scary doing anything new. So don't, don't worry. This is no different than anything else that you've always been successful with. Um, so I know that you feel that, but guess what? Over time, just like all those other experiences that you had, you got better at it. It got easier at it. And then you got more profitable. You had more fun and you are no longer shooting your pants. You're printing money, which is a much better way of going about things. So yeah, things start off scary, but they end off joyful and the best life. So that is like the best life that you could ever imagine. So that's what we're going to go towards. Like if that sounds like the pathway that you want to go towards, then DM me 10K and we'll make you that 10K. And you, you see the massive difference here. And this is where I see a lot of people stick with is they just go very logical. I'm answering your questions. I'm answering your questions. I'm answering your questions. And when you just answer people's questions without anything more, there's no connection be between you two. And now people do not buy generally the product. They're, they're buying you. They're, you're the thing that they're buying. Like, because there's a million other options of whatever anybody's selling out there generally. Very rarely there's there's a small abundance, not in the world that we live in now. Everything, every pretty much, every niche, every demographic has tons of different options. The reason why they're buying is because they're buying you. So if there is no connection between you and them, you're not gonna do that. Like when I, when I bought uh, my, my last car that I bought, um, I went, I was on my fourth dealership going towards, and at that point in time, I wasn't working um, in the online world. I didn't have an abundance of money and I was buying just based off price. So I was telling people what I kind of like, what I was looking for and everything like that. And a guy went over the top for me and he was actually helpful where other people were kind of rude, kind of like standoffish, like would either avoid me or avoid my wife, even though we we're both there. It's like, I, don't, I would never this, give this guy money. I don't care how good of a deal. I'm not giving this guy the money. And then another guy was really, really approachable, all that type of stuff, Get, it, like worked with us. He's like, I'll make this happen for you, all that kind of stuff. You see, I bought the guy. I didn't buy the vehicle. I actually hated the vehicle. Um, <laughs> but th that's it. And, and that's what most most of the time people do. And like, I'm in the process of buying a Tesla whenever my Tesla finally comes in. And the reason why I bought that is because of the story behind the Tesla. Like I wanted to buy a Porsche. My wife talked me out of the Porsche by telling me how much smarter it would be for us to buy a Tesla. And that's why I changed from the Porsche that I've always wanted, which was something that I always told myself that I'd own. Now I'm getting a, a Tesla. And it's all about the, the story behind it, not staying like, I was like, no, we're not buying a Porsche anymore. I know I told you, you can make this decision on the next car that we bought. Uh, we're buying a Tesla. Do you think that conversation would have went well? It's the same thing in real life. It's just, if you guys stay very logical and very like, yes, no, you know, routine like that, you're not going to get anywhere. So like in your guys' content, as you're talking to clients, as you're filming videos, like get deeper. Don't just talk about a topic. Yeah, I know you want to make money, right? Okay, let's go do it. 
It's like, uh, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, don't stay on the surface. Don't like linger around a topic. Don't like just talk about the perspective. Be like, Hey, like perspective means everything in life. So go get that perspective. No, like tell them what perspective they need and why it's going to be associated with the outcome that they want. Like get them to that place where they're emotional and now have the solution for the outcome that they have. And they can visualize themselves because you've told them some type of curated story around that that's going to get them to where they want to go. And this is the, the pathway that I see so often people don't do. And then they get ghosted. They get these empty yeses, like an empty yes. It's just like sometimes, and I'm sure you guys have all felt this way. You had that person knock on your ear and they're like, hey, I'm here to sell you some shit. And you're like, oh my God, I never want to talk to you ever. And like, why did you even come to my door? Actually, I'm going to pretend like I'm not even here. And that's generally how you feel. And the guy just goes on and on and on and on and on. And all of a sudden you just start giving them yeses just to get them out of here. Like just to like, Get out, please let me end this conversation. Oh, I think I hear like my mom calling, the phone's ringing, my baby's crying. And they're like, no, and then you shut the door, right? Like, because they're just, they don't care about you. They care about the, the sale and they're just, they're all about this numbers game of going to door, to door, to door, to door, to door. Finally, they get a lay down and then they push their way through that somebody's so nice that they take advantage of them and get their money. Now that's not a good way of doing business and that's not a good way of going about things. Getting that empty yes usually either leads to you wasting a ton of your time. And this is something I've seen on a lot of people's sales calls. They get to the end of the call and you can tell the other person on the other side are like super like non-interested. They didn't get the answers that they really wanted. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll put a deposit in like next week. Uh, I don't have that money right now. Or this is what's going on. And you're like, okay, cool. That's awesome. Well, I'll write you in Wednesday next week. That's the good time, 2 p.m. All right, well, we'll do that. And you're so leaned into the process. You're so excited and they're not. Like whoever's the most excited about the outcome isn't always the one that's going to make that happen. If you're more excited than the, the person, you did not do a good job. They should be more excited than you. And now this can't always be the case because some people are just very introverted and they're not going to show you that emotion. I've made tons of sales that way, but you have to ask them the questions. Be like, hey, like you look like you're unengaged. You look like you're just saying yes to say yes. Are you just saying yes to say yes? And then you actually caring about people will get you that sale when they would have just given you that empty yes before. So you just really have to pay attention to how the interaction's going. Like don't get just yeses. So like at the end of the, like Sylvia was just on and she was asking me questions and everything like that. And she's like, yeah, that's probably like all I have to say. I'm like, but do you have any more questions? Is there anything else that I can help you out with? Like, I actually care. I want Sylvia to win. So I'm like engaging with her. And she's like, no, 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 that, this is good. And like, she leaves on a, on a good note because she knows everything that she possibly could have asked. She had the opportunity to, I wasn't just trying to push her off so I could get to the next person. She already told me that that was enough. And I still made sure that I asked her and that's how you show people that you care. And that's how you go deeper with people. And that's how you build that emotional connection. And you're not just going to get those empty yeses where people are leaving and they'll never talk to you again. You get ghosted, you get all those things because there's no emotional connection. They don't care because it didn't seem like you cared. So make people care about you by the actions that you're taking, your content, the, the conversations, all of those things. And then not only will you build like a better audience where people are like a community around you, but you'll actually start making more money because of those reasons. So that's where I, I really need you guys to focus on not staying vague, not staying comfortable on that surface. And I really need you to start going a lot deeper. And if there is any situations that you guys are feeling like you're, you're having a hard time going deeper, just put it in the comments. I'll answer. I'll help you out with that. Um, and we'll find ways of either telling a story or emotionally answering the decisions that's not just or the questions that aren't just like yes no this is it that is it this is it because you will get a very reduced amount of of conversions because of those reasons so the more that we can get emotional the less vague that we can get um the more stories you can figure out and tell the better it's going to be and the best stories that you can tell answer multiple smoke screens or multiple pain points that you think that people have but usually make them avoid making the decisions if you can come up with some type of curated 
story within like what you're answering people they're like yeah that's me that's exactly it oh yeah and if you can start getting some of those like oh you're winning your next level so that's what i have in my sales calls and everything i have those those stories that are curated to get me the results that i want to answer multiple pain points by me just telling the story so i hope all this helps uh, let me know uh, if you guys have any more questions about that. But that's uh, that's the little synopsis for uh, not being vague, getting a little bit more emotional and going past that surface. So I hope this helps. Let me know if it does help. Um, give me maybe some thumbs up or something like that. Appreciate it. As I stated at the beginning of this video, you can win $100 for free. What we're going to do as soon as we hit 2,500 subscribers, we're giving away a free $100 Amazon gift card to a random person that comments in the comment section. So put a comment down in the comment section. Let's have a conversation and you could win $100 for that one comment. I hope you gained a tremendous amount of value on making money online and the online business world. I know it's not always the easiest thing to break into, so this is why we put out these videos on YouTube and all the other free content that we, we put out. But if you actually want to work with us and get some of this one-on-one -on -one mentorship that we provide inside of our community, reach out to us and we will get you set up with a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our advisors. We will set up a customized plan for your online business and how we're going to get you scaled to five figures quicker than anywhere else on the internet.